pick the inequality whose solution set is shaded below. We have a line and the solution above that line. So now let's see these inequalities. We have 3x minus 2y bigger than 6. And we have same here, 2x minus 3y. So we have two line equations or two inequalities different. We have one of them, 3x minus 2y. And we have 2x minus 3y. And this line is a solid line, as you see. It's a solid line, right? This line is a solid. It's not a dotted line. If dotted line, and we are going to compare inequality, so it will be less bigger without equal. Equal will not be there. But if a solid line, so less or equal, bigger or equal. So this is different. So here we have a solid line. So this will not be the right answer. We have, and this will not be the right answer because we don't have the equal here. So we are talking about this two, this one, two, three, three solution. Now, here we have the, the solution is above that line. So let's take any point in this line and substitute in both equation and let's see which one will be a solution for this inequality. So we, let's take, for example, point zero and zero here. Simple thing x is 0, y is 0. So we'll have 3 multiply 0 minus 2 multiply 0 will be equal 0. So now we have the, right, the left side of the equality, 0. Now 0 here, bigger, bigger, equal to 6. For this one, we have here, this is 0. Bigger, no. So this is not the right answer. We have here also 2x minus 3y, we'll take the point of 0 and 0 also. 2 multiply 0 minus 3 multiply 0 equal to 0. So this one will be 0. Bigger than 6, wrong answer. Let's take this one, 2, 0. 2x minus 3y, it's 0. Less than 6, yes. So this is would be the right answer. Okay. Yeah. Which ordered pair is a solution of the inequality minus 6x minus y less than 4. We have minus 6x minus y and it will be less than 4. So let's take the first order pair, 3 and 0. So we substitute in this equation. So we have minus 6 multiply 3 minus 0. This one, minus 18, it will be equal to minus 18. And minus 18 is less than 4, so this one is the right answer. Let's take 2 and 3, 2 and 3. So minus 6, multiply 2, minus 3. This would be minus 12, minus 3, equal to minus 15, which is, and it's less than minus 4, my, less than 4, so this is the right answer also. Now let's take minus 6 and 0, substitute in the equation, it would be minus 6, multiply minus 6, minus 0, it would be equal to 36. 36 is not less than 4, so this is wrong answer, 1 and minus 11, so it will be here, we'll say minus 6, multiply 1, minus, and y is minus 11, so here it will be minus 6 plus 11, equal to 5, and 5 is not less than 4, so this is the wrong answer. We'll take 0 and minus 7, so minus 6 multiply 0, minus minus 7, this is 0 equal to 7, it's not less than 4, because 7 is bigger than 4, so 
this is also a wrong answer. The graph below is used to identify the solution set of the inequality x minus y less than 4. Okay. So this is the line equation. This is dotted line. If you can see this dotted line, because we don't have equal in the equality. We don't have less we don't have less than or bigger than, so the line will be dotted. That means the points on the line will not be a solution. But if it's equal, you will see a line, solid line. So, and the points which in the line will be a solution. Okay, but here means the points on the line will not be a solution. Now, the line graph to represent the line associated with a given inequality. Fill in the blanks below to create a true statement. Now, part A, the x-intercept. X-intercept, what does it mean, x-intercept? That means y equal to 0. We know this, y equal to 0. Of the line is we need to know the points which the line when x-intercept. So here we have the line equation to be x minus y. We want to get another the other point we will make the equality equal so to four now we have y equal to zero so x will be equal to four so the answer here is four now part b the y intercept of the line is so y intercept that means x equal to zero y intercept x equal to 0. So we'll have here x minus y equal to 4. And we said y intercept, so x equal to 0. 0 minus y equal to 4. So y will be equal to minus 4. So the answer here is minus 4. So this point will be 4, and this point will be minus 4. Now, choose the proper description from the drop-down menu to identify the solution set. Now, the solution set is represented by region. We need to know the solution set will be above the line or below the line. So now we have the line, which is minus y, x minus y, less than 4. So let's take any point here and take any point here. Which one is will validate this inequality? That means it will be the solution. So let's take 0 and 0. So here we have 0 and 0, so 0 minus 0 less than 4, so 0 is less than 4, so that means this the, the above area will be a solution for this inequality. The graph below is used to identify at the solution set of inequality x less than 1. We have x less than 1. This is the graph, okay? Now, the line graph represents the line associated with a given inequality. Now, fill in the blank below to make a true statement. Now, the in x intercept, x intercept means y, point y equal to zero. Of the line is, so we have here, we'll say x equal to one, so y is 0, y is not here, so x will be equal to 1. So the answer here will be 1. Now, part B, choose the proper description from the drop-down menu to identify the solution set. The solution set is represented by the set of points. So let's see which area will identify the solution. Is it in the right of the line or the left of the line? So we'll take... Point zero and zero. So we have point zero and zero. X is zero and y is zero. So here we have x less than one. So we'll say substitute x with zero. So zero less than one. Yes, it will validate the inequality. So that means this area will be a solution for this inequality. So that means here it will be to the left. Okay, now let's see if we will take a point that x is equal to 4 and 0, for example. 
So we have the equation x less than 1, right? So let's substitute here. So x will be 4, y is not here. So it will be 4 less than 1. This is not the right answer. So that means this area is not a solution, OK? The graph below is used to identify the solution set of inequality y bigger than minus 1. So this is the line, line bigger than minus 1. Now the line graph represents the line associated with the given quality. Fill in the blank below to make a true statement. The y-intercept means x equal to 0. Of the line is, so we have here y. y will be equal to minus 1. So let's substitute x equal to 0. We don't have x here, so y will be equal to minus 1. So the answer here that when x is 0, y will be minus 1. Now, part B, choose the proper description from the drop-down menu to identify the solution set. The solution set is represented by a set points of. So we have this line. The line is here. That is the line. So we want to know which area will identify the solution. It's above the line or below the line. So let's take any point above the line and check. So let's take 0 and 0. So we have y bigger than minus 1. So x is 0. We don't have x here. So y is 0. So 0 bigger than minus 1. Yes, this is the right solution. So the answer here, it will be above the line. OK. Match each inequality in a column A with its graph solution in column B. The shaded area represents the solution of the inequality. OK. The first one, we have x less than or equal to. So here, we don't have y. So that means any point of y, x will be 2. So that means that when we draw a graph of this one, x equal to 2 means x equal to 2, right? So here we have x equal to 2. This is 2. Because we don't have y here, so that means any point of y, let's say y will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, always the x will be 2. So this is will be the line. Now here it's saying that x less than or equal to, so that means the line will be solid because I have equal and less than 2 it will be this area so which one of these points here we have this one right so this is x equal 2 and the area will be this okay now for let's see the other inequality say y less than or equal minus x plus So let's hear which, let's see which line of this. So let's say that y equal to minus x plus 2, right? So let's have point y equal to 0 and see x to be, what is the point of x? So we have here 0 equal minus x plus 2. So x will go to the other side was positive, so x equal to 2. So the first point will have 2 and 0. So let's see here which one is 2 and 0. We have these two points, 2 and 0 and 2 and 0. OK. Now let's take x with 0, x equal to 0. And let's see what will be the y. So y will be equal to 2. So when x is 0, y equal 2. So we have the other point 0 and 2. So we have also these two lines, these two figures. OK. Now here it's saying that y less than minus x plus 2, right? So let's take x to the other side. So here it will be x plus y bigger or less plus 2. So that means 
Why? Now, here it's saying the slit line, the solution will be less than 2, so that means it will be this one. So the other answer is this one. Now here we'll take, the, so the opposite one by default, it will be here, this one. And here I have y less than 2, I have y less than or equal to, so whatever points of x, y will be equal to 2. So which one of this graph we have? this one. So whatever values of x, y always will be 2. So this one. And I have here less than or equal to, it will be below the line. Okay?